What's up guys, Power Man X720 here to have you today. Um, probably my favorite battle from Nationals. It was a side event, the multi-battle. Um, so we were in, I want to say top 16, but I don't remember, it might have been top 32. Um, and we were playing Logan Cashel, Yellow Box, and Scythe, which I don't know his real name. Um, and of course my teammate was my good team building friend, uh, Andy Anderson. Um, so basically the idea of our team was to just Dark Void things. He had Kangaskhan, I had Mega Charizard X. Um, basically, we want the threat of con artists, although we didn't want to rely on it. And then we had Espeon also to kind of counter Dark Force shenanigans that we might face. Um, so as you can see, um, I brought Smeargle, Smeargle, Charizard, Espeon, because Logan had a um, Smeargle of his own. So he leads Kangaskhan and Gengar, uh, not Kangaskhan, sorry, um, Gengar and Clefable, and we lead Kangaskhan and Smeargle. In turn one, I said to Andy, we should just faint and double edge something. Um, because I think he was going to double protect, but then I was like, no, let's play it safe. We'll just fake out in Dark Void and hope for a good moody boost. Um, so he does Mega Evolve and protects his Gengar and protects the Clefable. So, it was unfortunate. Um, so honestly, I just expected him to Sludge Bomb and hope for the poison. For on the second turn, but instead he ends up. Alright, so I get my Moody Boost and ends up being evasiveness, which really helps, and ends up lowering defense. Um, so the Clefable just goes and follow me, which makes sense, uh, but it didn't really make sense because I was just going to Dark Wood anyway. And then the Gengar goes for Parish Song, which I did not see coming. Uh, so I, so Kangaskhan goes for the return, does okay amount of damage, not mega obviously. And the killer here is he double, or they double avoid the Dark Void, which is really annoying. Um, so I know I need to, I don't want to lose Smeargle, because Smeargle in itself is a win condition. A lot of the time, especially Moody Boost and Dark Void. Um, so I transform into the Gengar, because that way I can switch out, because I'm a Ghost type, and I have Shadow Tag, and both of those are the only ways to switch out of uh, Shadow Tag, or uh, not Shadow Tag, only way to switch out of... Um, I can't think of what it's called. Uh, Perish. Only way to switch out a Pokemon with Shadow Tag is to have your own Shadow Tag. Um, so I could have gone for the Dark Void, which would have been nice, but this way at least I can save. And I don't think he was going to protect, which is why I did it. Um, I should have probably Shadow Balled here because I do have the Focus Dash, so he can't knock me out. Um, but instead I switch in Charizard because I know the next turn I can Dragon Dance because I'll get a free switch. Because oh, he's going to switch, I mean. Oh, but he does Shadow Ball into me. Another dumb thing I did was I didn't or didn't do is I didn't look at his moves, which was not very smart. Um, <coughs> so I really like my Charge Out switch because now I know I assume they're gonna double switch out because they don't want to lose their Pokemon, which is gonna give me a chance to get up a free Dragon Dance. Um, but so he switches out into Talonflame. I Mega Evolve my Charizard. Looking beautiful, all shiny. Uh, and we do see the Clefable Protect. I don't. I told Andy he should have returned the Gengar slot, but I said he stocked a bunch of that. I'm not really sure why. Because he definitely was going to save the Charizard. So we could have knocked out the T-Flame, which would have been a huge help. So, we lose Kangaskhan. And we lose Clefable, which is unfortunate. Or they lose Clefable, which isn't unfortunate. But they have Talonflame, and Talonflame is definitely in range to KO my Charizard. So we switch in Landorus. They switch in their Kangaskhan. Gets off his Intimidate, which is nice. Um, but of course, still in KO range. Switches out his Landorus, and he does, into um, his Zapdos, which is, you know, super bulky Pokemon. Should take a double edge, slash return, slash Brave Bird, or whatever he end up taking. Um, so, of course, Scythe's uh, Kangaskhan Mega Evolves, and goes for the Fake Out onto the Zapdos. Um, so, I ended up not protecting, because I figured that's pretty much our only win condition, is that they assume we protect and double target. But it actually just fakes out some tailwinds. Um, so I get a free Dragon Claw off on this Talon Flame and then I'm able to knock it out. 
So that was pretty nice. Uh, but of course, I still have, you know, I still have two Pokemon left in the back, but one of them is Espeon. And we do see that all landers come in, which kind of sucks for me. Um, I don't really see the point of switching out Charizard at this point because, I mean, my, my pretty strong win condition is that they, like, miss Rock Slide. Because I know he's going to double edge the Zapdos. Uh, so we do see the Rock Slide into Charizard, into Zapdos. Gonna end up knocking out both of them, unfortunately. Not a huge surprise. Uh, might have made more sense for Andy to switch in his old Landorus there and get another Intimidate off, but... Um, so I do have Espeon, unfortunately. Um, which I brought to counter the Smeargle, but... To no avail. Um, however, he, um, Andy does have his Landorus, which is always nice, because if Tailwind peters out, we could, could bring it back. Um, so this, at this point in the match I was really upset because I do have Bright Powder on this um, Espeon because I didn't know what else to put on it, so I figured one of these attacks is going to miss and then I can get a Reflect up. But he ends up connecting with the Rock Slide and the Double Edge, which sucks for me. That's the equivalent of like connecting on like a Hydro Pump plus a Rock Slide, which isn't like unbelievable odds or anything, but... So I just sent out Smeargle. Like I said, Smiggle in itself is a win condition. I spiky shield because I don't want to lose it because there's still another turn of Tailwind. He double edges into it. The spiky shield damage push it in Rock Slide KO range. And all we have to do is hope for a non flinch from us. Unfortunately, a crit kind of hurts. And then we missed the Kangaskhan, which was even worse. So, you know, things definitely did not go our way this game, but. I mean, it was a fun battle. It was a multi-vote battle side tournament. And it's still not over yet. Uh, we get the defense raise. We get the accuracy drop, which really sucks. Um, I go for the double spiky shield. Uh, Rock Slide comes out from Arlanderus. Ends up knocking out the Kangaskhan. And doing a pretty good chunk to the Landorus. As Rock Slide comes out. I should have just Dark Voided that turn. So now our win condition is a phase and boost, like that's literally all we can pray on right now. And we do get special attack draw uh, rise, which sucks. Special defense drop kinda sucks. Uh, but then the Brave Loom comes in, so I need evasion, because Mach Punch is just gonna knock me out. So I go for the spiky shield. Spiky shield and pray. Uh, they go for the bullet seed to not get, you know, spiky shield shielded or whatever. Um, and I do get the evasion boost, so things are looking a little bit better for me. Um, I need to hope for a miracle at this point. Um, he goes for the Bolt Seed. Unfortunately, it hits. And he basically needs three hits to end it. And they get it. So, that was the end of our multi-battle run. Super fun. Um, I hope they do more stuff like that at Worlds, because I really enjoyed it. But um, So, thank you guys for watching, and later.